Hey guys, Michael from Copper vs Glass and today we're going to be looking at the brand new Google Home Hub. And this is the latest range of the home products from Google and this is the first one to come with a screen allowing you to look at your calendar events, any memories you might have, photos, YouTube videos plus a ton more. And today we're starting off with the unboxing to see exactly what you get inside the packaging and just have an overall first look. Now this is my first time looking at one that isn't on a display unit or anything and I have to say that I am massively impressed. The packaging, presentation and the actual home hub itself really do look nice. Now we're just going to put that off to one side while we look what's inside the actual box itself. Now the first thing that you're going to come across is the cable itself which is used to power the home hub and thankfully, oh okay, it's, it's not USB-C. Well either way you're going to be able to charge and actually use the home hub. It would be nice if it was USB Type-C or even micro USB like the original Google Home but unfortunately it is not. You're then also going to get some paperwork in regards to a warranty and safety information and a let started guide which is the easiest thing in the world to use. Plug it in, get the app and you're ready to go. And then onto the home hub itself and as you can see here I have gone for the charcoal black colour. Now you can also get it in chalk, aqua and also a sand colour. Chalk is basically white, you've then got blue and the sand is kind of like a red pink sort of colour but it looks quite nice. You can then take the cover off the front here and then you're granted with the actual display itself. And this is going to be a 7 inch 1024 by 600 display and it's an LCD display. So it's going to be interesting to see exactly how good the blacks and just in general the colours look on this display itself. But for me it's a pretty good size, it could be doing with a little bit bigger but maybe that's something they're going to look at later down the line. Around back you've got the power in, a mute switch at the top and then on the right hand side of the display behind the display you've also got the volume up and down buttons as well plus a very non-slip pad on the bottom here. Trust me if you put this thing down it's not going anywhere much like the Google Home Mini. And just for a very quick comparison here it is against my Google Pixel 2 XL and as you can see my XL fits pretty much inside the actual screen itself so that's going to give you a little bit of an indication in regards to actually how big or small the actual display is. Now I'm going to save the full setup for the full review which I'm going to have in around a week's time but a little bit of a spoiler it was very simple to do as long as you've got an Android device that has everything running you can pretty much transfer it over and I would imagine that setting it up from scratch isn't all that hard either. But one thing that I would say is with Black Friday currently upon us you can actually save £40 or $40 off of the Google Home Hub which takes the price point under £100 or under $100 which is definitely a steal when you consider everything that you're going to be getting. And just for good measure they're also throwing in a six month trial of YouTube Premium as well so if you want to skip some of those adverts that's definitely the way to go. So as I mentioned I am going to be putting this thing through its paces over the next week to see exactly if it is worth it, who it's for, what are some of the key features and just in general if it's something that you're actually going to need. You can do a ton of things with the home hub including watching YouTube videos, playing any music, streaming anything that you need to. It works exactly like a home mini would but it has a display. Now this will also open up some other opportunities as well which again I'm going to be looking at in the full review and if there's anything specific that you guys want to know about or see in that review then let me know in the comment section down below. If you're interested to see exactly how good or bad the screen is for example or how loud the speaker gets then let me know in the comment section and I'll do my best to try and cover everything when that video drops. But so far in my around an hour or so of actually using the home hub I am massively impressed. There is a ton of things that this thing can do the screen looks pretty good so far, the speaker isn't too bad but again I'm going to have to really use this thing to see if it's actually worth it or if I actually need something like this and want to use something like this long term or if I'm just happy with my Google Home Mini speaking to it and I don't need any visual feedback. And that's going to do it guys for this very quick unboxing and my very first impressions of the Google Home Hub. If you did enjoy this video be sure to leave it a thumbs up down below and as I mentioned if you've got any questions or comments about this video or anything you want to know about the Home Hub for the full review let me know in the comments section or on Twitter at Copper vs Glass. For more great content moving forward don't forget to subscribe and once you are subscribed hit that notification bell so that you're notified anytime that I post a new video here on the channel. I'm Michael from Copper vs Glass, thanks very much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video.